Hello, fellow virtual aviators. We are back in the ardent and amorous Mirage 2000C, and today we have a short update on some changes made to aircraft and loadout configuration. The way in which various parameters, known as the ground adjustment options, are altered has now been changed in a recent update of the Mirage 2000C, so we will quickly look at how this affects the procedures we have learned in our previous tutorials. Originally, the ground adjustment options were changed using a page on the kneeboard, using right shift, right alt, and an appropriate number to make the required changes. These and other options are now adjusted on the configuration panel. The options that can be changed are the burst time of the DFA 554 cannons, the salvo count of the Matra 155 rockets, the laser code for the GBU 12s, 16s, and 24s, the Mode 2 IFF code, which is normally only settable in the mission editor, and the frequencies of the 20 preset channels of the auxiliary UHF red radio, which again are normally only settable in the editor. First, with the aircraft's engine off, we will rearm in the normal fashion using the rearm and refueling panel. To demonstrate the changes, we will equip rockets and laser guided bombs. Again, before firing the engine, we need to make the ground adjustments on the configuration panel. To access the configuration panel, open up the communications menu, select ground crew, and then configuration panel. The options we can change will be displayed under the diagram. So, as we can see, we can change the burst length of the guns between the normal 0.5 and 1 seconds, the rocket salvo quantity between 1, 3, 6, and 18. Notice that this is necessarily symmetrical. And the laser code for our laser guided bomb, which let's change, for example, to 1588. If you have not armed the applicable weapon, some of these options will not appear on the panel. On the second tab, we can adjust the parameters not associated with weapons. Whereas a Mode 1 and a Mode 3 code can be set in the cockpit, the Mode 2 code is set on the ground. This can now be adjusted here prior to departure. Likewise, we can adjust the frequencies of the red radio's channels, should we wish, if the mission profile calls for it. So I can see that we do not have 249er as a channel, Let's set that as our preset channel 1. After we have made all the necessary changes, we simply click Apply and are then ready to power up the aircraft. A summary of the changes we have made can be checked on the kneeboard. We can see here that the rocket burst count is now set to 18, the cannon burst time set to 1 second, the laser code in the center is set to 1588, as this refers to the GBU-24 on our centerline pylon, and the IFF-M2 code is set to 5120. We can also see that on the second page, under the UHF radio channel 1, that this is now set to 249er. A word of caution, however, at this present time, I am finding that after using the configuration panel, some of the cockpit switches and controls move out of their original positions. In particular, I am finding that the throttle is moving out of the stop position and into the idle position, resulting in an engine fire during startup if by oversight one forgets to return it to stop. I'm sure that this is just a bug in the system and will be fixed in due course.
Well, as ever, I hope that was useful for you. Just a minor change to our procedures, but nevertheless worthwhile knowing. With continued thanks to my patrons, especially Yan11, Lakota21, Plabs, Blake Army, Starlover, and Ben. I really do appreciate your support. Feel free to do the usual thing like subscribe, comment, and share, but until next time, virtual aviators, I look forward to seeing you online in the skies. This is Reva saying, last call. <laughs>